Alrighty guys, welcome back into the TNT Podcast. I'm your host Ted. And I'm Tim. And today we're going to be going over our favorite consoles as well as our favorite handheld devices. Including... Why why did you say every word as a different sentence? (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. But yes, we'll we'll be going over our favorite consoles as well as our favorite handhelds and on from there. Figure with the looming release of the new uh, ninth generation of consoles, which we'll talk about a little bit at the end. Yes, <laughs> and how hard it is to finally get one, oh, which dear. for that, you, which we'll save for later. Yeah, that'll be a whole section at the end of the podcast. Yes. But guys, if you want to start it off, uh, we'll do like a top three yeah. of consoles and go from there. Alrighty, <laughs> so top three, it was hard to really place two and three together, um... But I gotta say, the PS3 is my number three. Really? Yes. Um, so you, you were always Xbox person. Yes. Before, uh, um, before now going into the next generation. Right. I had an Xbox for you know I had all three Xboxes going through this, and it'd be the first time not getting the new one. Uh, so the PS3 to me was just so much fun. I just, there was so much stuff you could do with it, and had so many good games that were only on the PS3. I was a big for all you people that love racing games, I really love Gran Turismo. Where and on the online was free for a long time, right? Yes, it was. It was free for a, for a while until years years back. I think we when we were back in high school, that's when it started to you had to pay for a membership. No, it was before that. Really? It was a hundred percent before that. Oh, uh, okay. I remember with the PS3, it started off free, and I remember at some point. You they had to get the place their PlayStation switched. Plus. Okay, because like I remember, I remember when because when we were when we were freshmen, that's when the new generation came out. I yeah, think. or the, freshman eighth grade, somewhere around there. I it believe. was twenty fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, yes. So we should have been. Uh, we were freshmen. freshmen in high yes. School. So I think around that time, I think that's when they started to to change it. But either way, um, beside the case. It was just a lot of fun. Like, I had a lot of games, just like I say, exclusively for that. Like I said, for Gran Turismo, I had a couple other ones that Oof. I played. But the oh. racing games for me were always the always what kept me on PlayStation, really. Um, so, PlayStation just was... PlayStation 3 was just always fun for me. I know, back in the day, most of my friends were all on Xbox 360. So, sometimes I'd go on the PS3, play with the other, my other friends who didn't have it. So, you know, I would have couple games I would have for, you know, 360 I would have for Black uh, for PS3. So, for example, like I was about to say, Black Ops 1, uh, Madden, uh, FIFA, stuff, you know, stuff like that where you can play with your other friends that, yeah. you know, don't have the Xbox. So. so, one game, PS3, oh, The Last of Us. When you get the PlayStation 5, you need to get both games. I hear it's very, very good. Oh, I, I haven't finished the second one, but the first one, incredible. One of the best games I've ever played, and I think I mentioned it. Yes. In one of our earlier episodes, yes. um, we did favorite video games. The one, um, which one was it? Yeah, I remember watching a little bit of the gameplay of The Last of Us and the, all the cutscenes and everything. Unbelievable. Really, just so really, good. really good. Uh, so good. It's hard to, hard to replicate something like that, but they, uh, but you played the second one for a little bit, right? Yeah, I've, I haven't finished it. I, I keep forgetting to go back to it with schoolwork and stuff. I, I, I keep forgetting. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's all that as well. Um, so, what's uh, your number three? My number three is going to be the PS4, actually. Ah, okay. I was going to say the PlayStation 3, but in that generation of consoles, I felt the 360 was was the better console. I can agree with that because the controllers... The, Ooh, PS3 the PS3 controllers was, oh, were... Oh. They just felt cheap and they, they, they just did not feel good. Whereas the 360 controller... Might be the best controller ever that I've ever used. Wow, really? I, I honestly, where the PS4 controller I love, definitely a big up, upgrade from the PS3. That that was just. God I feel awful. like it was more because I have a PS. I still have like my PS2 in my room, oh, me too. and, and uh, it feels like it's it's a PS3, but it's wire. It's yeah, just that's wireless. The only now. difference yeah. was they they basically took the same controller and just made it wireless. Yeah, which I remember. We'll talk more about the PS2, of course, but... Yeah. Did you have a wireless controller for it? No, I had it wired. No? Because I remember I've had the original wired, but I had the one controller that was wireless, 
it you had to plug into the console this huge like little brick in order for it to connect mm. oh my god the thing was it was probably like that big it was uh, the people on youtube will see what i'm doing but <laughs> yeah the thing um, is with that it's tough because like with We'll, we'll get more into it but like with the ps2 you always had your memory card and everything oh, that like too. that that's another one that was that's an all-time classic which we'll get into with that yeah, but, but definitely yeah, back to the ps4 yeah i just figured there's been so many good games for this generation um which of course not going to get into that because we already did a whole episode on that but um just the controller and then the PlayStation VR, which you've used. Yes. Uh, oh, it, it, that's awesome. Fantastic. It, whoever, if anyone hasn't tried it, please do. It, if one of your friends has it or a family member, please try it. It is really it, cool, really cool experience. It's a good, um, like, entry into uh, the VR space. Because yes. there are a, a lot of the, like, mo most popular title, VR titles, do go to it. Yes. And it, it think it's like three hundred dollars or so, two ninety nine probably. It really, honestly, if you're really interested in it, I know it's a little bit of a hefty price tag, but it's so worth it. It really is. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite games on there. Uh, I as, already know it. Yes, is uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. <laughs> um, man, it, it just feels so realistic when you're there. You know, it's like the, the jump scares hit. The jump scares hit they a really lot hit different, different when you're in there. Especially like you can you can be able to peek out of the you know peek out into the hallway you know see these see these you know gigantic um, animatronics. animatronics coming at you and it's like they're you're here and they're all like they're like so towering over you you know so it's just a re different experience yes way different <laughs> experience together. yeah it's it just feels like you're actually there you know that's the scary part yeah. But um, that's really that's the main main stuff to that. But just PS4, that's why I, I'm looking forward to the PlayStation Five. I, I think they got they got a good thing going there as well. Yeah, I agree. Your number two. My number two is the Xbox 360. Me too. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, uh, with with the 360, I just there were just so many good games that came out during that time. And also, like you said, the controller was amazing. Oh, best controller. Felt really smooth. There was really not much uh, things with it. Obviously, the only knock on the 360 is the red ring, three red rings yep. of death, which I personally experienced that. You, which, you did? Yes. I had the, the white Xbox, and uh, it was running good. And then one day, I got the three rings <laughs> of death, and that was the end of it. Uh, so I think my brother, he might have actually gotten it more than once, I think. Is I only, I my first console that was mine was the PlayStation 3. Then later, a few years later, I got a 360. So it was one of the newer ones. Uh, so I did. Was it the was it the black? black yeah, the black one, one with okay. the, the touch buttons. Yes, yes. Uh, I got that one after I got the Red Rings after of Death, and, the I, rings. and I never got it. Since. Yeah, they fixed that issue. Yeah. But that was the when you got it. That was like like the end of An it. F in the chat moment. Yeah, F in the chat <laughs> moment. Uh, so, uh, so for anyone that doesn't know that reference, uh, basically, you know, it's like, it's a rip, basically. It's like, it's done. It's over with. But no, I, I agree. Definitely. It's number two on my list. Um, cause most, I think most of my friends back then had a 360. Yeah. So did mine. PS3. Like, I, I had a couple that had a PlayStation, but the majority was really Xbox. Yeah. The 360, that generation, the 360 really, really took off, because uh, a lot of us, like I said, a lot, a lot of our friends had it, and um, also one game that I will always say is one, one of the most fun, funnest games I've ever played, uh, Doritos Crash Course. Uh, for those that don't know it, it's kind of very similar to Fall Guys, where it's one of those things where you have to survive obstacles and stuff like that, uh, but it was morely of like a race. So you race against your friends. You had like four, you can race with four friends. You go through these obstacles, and you know whoever's first wins. So it was just really cool to do that. It, a lot of the maps maps were different. It was just awesome to play. It was such a great design at the time. Uh, so I would play it. It came out when we were like fifth and sixth grade. 
So, you know, it was just so much fun to play. We would play it all day long. Yeah. Have you played that? Drew's no, Crash Course? Not until you told me about it. I hadn't even never heard of it. Mm. There, it was a free game. I think it was a free game, and uh, it was just oh, so much fun. So <laughs> much fun. All the obstacles were great. I mean, you get knocked off, you just sent off to send off into the Wonderland, and then you come back on and do it all again. Yeah. Say, but for me, tied with number two is the Switch, though. Yeah, the I Switch say... is like a 50 50, obviously, because it is a console, but you can take it on the go, obviously. But so that's a tied for number two for me. I just like how innovative it is. I just like oh, how so, you... that's why it's a hit. Yeah, because it's so different. Like when the Wii came out, the Wii was great, by the way. Whoever had didn't have a Wii, you oh. missed, missed out. Wii Sports <laughs> again, playing bowling and just you know, throwing the ball in the back and having those guys spin. No, it's great. Uh, and also boxing. Your boy, Matt. Yes. No, he was he was tough. <laughs> um, baseball. Baseball was fun as well. Uh, so, you know, you had your had your sports in that. I mean, the Wii, the Wii was, I had a lot of games for Wii as well. I had like a lot of Mario games, you know, Mario Party. I would also play stuff from the GameCube that was there too. That's where I played uh, the Pokemon Snap. I don't know if have you heard of that. I have not. It, it was cool. It was for the GameCube, but they released it on the Wii Store. It's so basically you, you go around on a track and just take pictures of Pokemon. Oh, I see. Okay. But was they are making a sequel to that? And I'll probably get it. <laughs> but of course, um, of course. No, it's the Switch. It's just such a different idea. Yeah. Like having this, because a lot of mainstream AAA games have made it to that little thing. Yeah. And to have that much power anywhere, uh, it's just, it's never been done. Yeah, they, I think Nintendo revolutionized it, to oh, be yeah. honest with you. Because, like, it was such a great innovation by those guys, seriously. Like, that was a massive hit. I mean, I, I you know, I actually recently got one a couple months ago, about a little over two months ago. So, it wasn't a thing the beginning of August? Yeah, beginning of August. Beginning of August, I got one. And I got to say, it's really cool to play it, you know, taking it on the go and also just playing it at home on your on your TV. Like, you know, that's awesome. Yep. You know, that's the beauty of it. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'm more right now, like, for me, I always get my games digitally. I know you're different. You get it oh, a physical 100%. copy. Nine times out of ten, if I'm buying a game, it's going to be physical. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten. But um, there are, there are rumors. Um, this is, I'm not gonna go too much into it. It's not what this episode's about. But there's rumors of what the next switch is gonna be. It's gonna have the amount of power that a PlayStation Four has, but in a Switch, wow. which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like that, you know, standalone a home console on the go, more or less. That's insane. You know, just rumors, but. That won't be coming out until years down the line. Probably like another it, two years, maybe. Yeah. I'd say 2022 best. Because the Switch came out. When, what year did the Switch came out? 2017. 2017. Okay, so it's still relatively new. Huh? Yeah, so it's like three and a half years yeah. old at this point. Yeah. So I'm sure they'll try and stretch it to a um, 22. Give it a few yeah. more years. Um, so yeah, that's... Tied for number two. <laughs> then, uh, so, what is your number one? Well, we kind of hit it on the nose. Uh, we both m agree with this right away once we said it. PlayStation Two. Hundred uh, percent. I uh, just uh, does nothing compares to it. I nothing. I, the, the original Xbox doesn't even compare no. to it. I mean, oh my God, the games that were on there, were ridiculous. They were all so much fun. Even just even back in the day in general, like I like we talked about in our recent episode of how I talked about how game back, games back then were so much fun to play. And that's a prime example. I mean, yep. the, the console was great. No, I had no, no 80 gigabyte patches to install. Every hell few weeks. no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're adding <laughs> some tweet at you, Cod. Huh? Well, that's that. not a sub tweet. <laughs> oh, I mean, that was just a tweet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah true. But anyway, yeah. So. It just was so much simpler. You just so get the was, game, no the... downloads. It would just load up right away, no problem. Um, 
no really storage of that because like you know with the xbox one you once you install it storage and whatever whatnot i mean yes yeah, so you have your albeit you have your memory card which <laughs> yeah that was back in the day when like the console would play the game off the disc yeah instead of the disc just being there for really the files and then it downloads everything onto the console yes or back then we had my uncle gave me uh, a memory card eight megabytes you, did, you could take a couple pictures, and those are going to be more space than 8 megabytes. Yeah. Oh, that's like nothing nowadays. Yeah, and now you have like, what is it, like one, um, what's it called? No, tri it's like a tri terabyte. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Got a brain fart? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, like my PS4, it came with, not that one, the, the one I have in mm -hmm. the basement, but it came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I actually, ha I actually bought a new one and in installed it. Wow. Because you, that Sony actually let you do that, or you can get like an <laughs> external one, but that was easier. Um. But yeah, just I don't know. It, it's just incredible. It was an incredible yeah. system. So, I, I, oh god, I have so many memories. I used to play Rock Band. <laughs> that mm. was a big one. Have you had the drums, the guitar? Everything. I had Guitar Hero for the Wii. I had that for the Wii. For the Wii, really? Mm -hmm. You would. What I had. What I had. I actually had the guitars. Obviously, I had the guitars where you had the, the um the buttons and stuff. What you would do is you would put the Wii remote inside the guitar and then you just play through. And hmm. you could show the guitar, but you know, going down like strumming like going strumming down would go down. Strumming up. Yeah, no, that was, it was like that. Yeah. On the uh, PlayStation version. Um, then you had, of course, we made a whole episode out of the remastered version of this game, Battle for, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yes, which that was amazing back in the day, and it was oh, still so great now, where they started from scratch, and like we talked about in that episode. Um, if you haven't listened to it, definitely check it out. Yep. Um, yes, so a lot of the games just were so much better. I mean, the gameplay was so, like, a lot, you could tell the effort into it back then was so much more than it is now. Oh, yeah. Albeit, yes, there's online stuff now and all that, because obviously back in the day, not many people were online, you know? No, there really wasn't. I know the original Xbox had, like, a limited online version. Mm -hmm. Like, not version, but... Like, server? Yeah. PlayStation 2, I don't know... <laughs> They did. Very, very limited. They, they did, but it was kind of a co little complicated setup. Yeah, I, I never used it. N n neither did I. But still, it still was fun to even play offline. Like, I'll be like, I still got my controllers and they, you know, I only have one controller that works, but it's still, I mean, yes, it's a t almost 20 year old controller and it still works pretty good. Not too bad. But it's holding yeah. up strong, I'll tell you that. Yeah, definitely. Then for me, Star Wars, the original Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh my god, that game's fantastic. Still is to this day. Um, the Ed and Nettie game. Yes, I had that one. That was a good game. Shrek 3, I remember that game was awesome. Oh, there's just so... Thrillville. Thrillville. Have you ever played Thrillville? I, that actually did on the PSP. Uh, it's I, I fun. It. It's a lot of fun. Uh, that I used to play a lot, of, a lot of different games on the PlayStation 2. I, I used to play a lot of the racing games as I've talked about in previous episodes i used to play all the nascars and all in between you know i played uh eva destruction i played uh the motion derby played uh it's just so many racing games but they were just so much fun to do like it was just something that i was always into and it was just always something new at the time where you could just, it doesn't matter it was just okay there you go <laughs> um destroy all humans i don't know did you ever play that no nah, i wasn't really into that <sighs> so good that one they have same thing t they um remastered that as well i haven't played that one as much but that i definitely will it was so good honestly i really wasn't much of a shooter guy as a kid i was much more of like you know the sports kind of guy i was like you're you still are <laughs> yeah still still now still now um you know i would play you know nascar i would play madden it's all the ones you listed yeah 15 seconds ago yeah basically <laughs> i would just play all that and it would be great it'd be a lot of fun i mean i never had a problem with it there was so much details like i said it was just kept it interesting you know you make your own teams and stuff like that so 
And also one of the best games, one of the best football games I ever played was NFL Street 2, where you can make your own guy. You, you would, uh, it was basically street ball. You're playing street ball with, with these NFL stars. And it was just awesome. Like it was just so creative. That's what I love about it. And it, that's when EA Sports was at the pinnacle was that like the peak of their they were, success? They were really in in the game. Yeah, it, that's when they had e, when EA Sports Big was a thing. That's when you know they had you know the, the snowboard game which I played, which was SSX and SSX Tricky. One that's one of my top ten favorite games of all time. Those two games right there because it was just so much fun to play. The maps were amazing. Uh, they oh, just blew blew a lot of the games out of the water so that's just when ea was just unbelievable and that's when they were so so good um all right bob okay, so that's our section on consoles so now we'll talk a little bit about like handhelds so i think i started i think i started with the psp oh that was your first one huh I, it was that or the ds well no Game Boy. Yes. That was my did, actual Did first. you have the one where it looked like a PSP? Because that's what I had initially. That was the first uh, the, one. I, I don't remember what that one was called. No, I had the the regular flip-up one. Ah, okay. No, I remember thinking I got that was the so flip-up. Cool. That was my second one. Because I actually had two versions of it. The first one, I remember it. I, it was, it was kind of like a PSP it was almost. that kind of shape. Yeah. yeah. But, oh my god, it was just so much fun. I, I used to play Wario. I used to have a lot of the Wario games all the time on there. So... I yeah, well, that. That was the first, ex my first experience to video games was the Game Boy, where I played Pokemon Blue. <laughs> mm. My brother had an extra Game Boy, an extra game, so. Yeah, there you go. I got that. <laughs> I was like, whenever I played Game Boy, it would always be, you know, Mario stuff, so I was always a big... Well, you've always been a big Mario person. I've always loved Mario and just playing all the games on that and uh it's just it's so much fun seriously it just really was uh playing mario kart and mario kart double dash and all that stuff you might know that's on the gamecube as well but still it was just so much fun to play on there um i did also have a psp uh i didn't really use it too much i had gran turismo on there and i had a few other games but gran turismo i played on that all the time i would Funny part is, I stopped playing it because I, I try to get this, um, the Formula One car. So you have to play, you know, race a certain amount of races and you finally get it. And I finally got it. So I was like, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I beat the game. I'm good. So PSP was all right for me. I didn't really use it too much. I used it a fair amount. Like I said, I had Thrillville. That was one of the first games I had for it. Um, what else? I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Fantasy Star? No, I have not. It's actually a game from uh, Japan that they happened to port over to consoles and then they made a portable version because my brother was playing it. And they made two games for it and they're always so, so much fun. Mm. Um, they made a couple Star Wars Battlefronts for it. Um, yeah, that was really the main ones. But PSP I thought was fantastic. Yeah, it was good though for its time. I'd oh, say it was good. So then there was its successor, the PlayStation Vita. I know you didn't have no, one. No, I didn't have one. That I, I did buy, I think not long after it came out. Very good system. You know, the OLED touchscreen, obviously updated internals and everything. For the time and that little bit of thing, it was a beast. But Sony, they just did not get enough games for it. Like to start off, it had Call of Duty, it had a Killzone game. And eventually, they put Minecraft on it, so they 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 just didn't support it enough, and that's why it flopped. Because gotcha. it it was a great idea. I do remember that being a little bit of a big thing at first when it started coming out. It just didn't really take off. No, from it where... did. It was just lack of marketing, lack of real support from Sony. But I, altogether, it was it was a good system. Mm -hmm. but. but, I mean, if you want to talk about now with the best handheld system, like we said, the Switch. Well, yeah. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Hands down. So the DS was another one, though. Yeah, I, I actually, personally, I never had a DS. You never had one? No. I, I always had, I had the original Game Boy and then the, the flip one. I never had a DS. Really? No. See, I had, I remember I had my original one. 
then it wound up dying, so I got another one. <laughs> then I, you know, eventually got a 3DS when those came out, but, um, now that, that's where I, it, mostly Pokemon. I, I was, used to be huge into Pokemon, so that, that's, I played all those games. Mm, okay. All those games on there. But, um, then like you mentioned, the Switch, of course. Um, so my favorite handheld it's got to be the classic Game Boy. It's got to be. Just have so many memories with that as a kid, and then I can agree with that because it was just so much, just so much fun. Just was so much fun. The games you just played were just great. <laughs> Say when um when the power went out for those when we were out of power for those few days. That um, switch again. We made we made a uh, video about that. Of course, the switch. I played a oh, lot. That was a, that was a, lot a of Smash savior. Bros. A lot of Smash Bros. But. <laughs> Me and my brother were just sitting in the living room. There's nothing else to do. You know, where, you know, obviously I work at Walmart. It's not far from our house, so they were out too, so I didn't have to go into work. So we were just sitting there, nothing to do, nowhere to go. We just brought out the Game Boys and started playing Pokemon. Yeah. It was, that was that whole time was a crazy time. Sorry to get off topic here, but it was just a crazy time. Like, like, like Tim said, we made an episode of that where we were out of power for... Was it like four days? Had like something like that. Something like that. Four we were, or five. Yeah, I think. we were out for a while, and living like that was rough. I mean, we barely I mean, first world problems to the max. Yes, but. it was rough. But uh, just trying to like, I because I didn't have a refrigerator because obviously at the time there was I had nothing. I had no generator because you know I live in a you know um, condo complex, so you know it's it's your SOL if you get a lot of power. Yeah. And it was the first time being out of power, man, in I think like eight years for Sandy when we when Superstorm Sandy hit here. So it, it was uh, it was interesting because uh, at the time uh, we were I was out of power for about I think like two three days and then got it back. But this was longer. And for Sandy, I only lost it here for two or three hours. Hmm. Whereas other parts of our town were out for weeks, week, two yeah. weeks. So it was, you know, you had to count your blessings because you never knew what that what was going to happen. Back uh, on topic. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the shift gears. Um, so as we mentioned earlier, we were going to talk about the Xbox Series X and S as well as the PS5 uh, digitally and physically. Physically. <laughs> um, well... As many of you know or don't know, it's a very, very hot demand. <laughs> the pre-orders for both of them were a complete mess. Yeah. Complete mess. It was, yeah, it was a disaster. It was a, a complete disaster on, like, I don't know whose end. I don't know if it's the retail. Yeah, for the or... PlayStation 5, they had a, you know, Sony had another, like, I don't know if it's a press conference, but, like, just whatever show to show off more of the games and they finally released prices and then later that day they announced oh pre-orders come out tomorrow and then retailers were like psych and released them it was like 8 30 that night i got an email from best buy saying oh pre-orders are live and i think we were i think we were live streaming at the time which again go go subscribe to our youtube follow us on twitch uh, I had to plug that. <laughs> of course. But yeah, we were live streaming at the time. Then we got off that. And we were just chilling. And I just happened to check my email. And I see that. So I'm like, crap. So I go on. It's sold out everywhere. Walmart, obviously where I work. So I have a discount. I want to get it from there. Gone. GameStop, gone. It Target, just gone. Went out That's so when I, I went to Best Buy. It was still in stock. But it... I, I could not complete the purchase. So then I said, screw it. Until, what was it, like midnight or something, I tried again. Then it lasted until like it was, 3 It was close to 3 a.m. 3 a.m., yeah. I spent all that time because I got it in my cart. And then it wouldn't let me continue in like the checking out process. So it took all that time. I finally got it. I have a PlayStation 5 pre-ordered, and it says it'll be here for release day on uh, November 12th, so I'm excited for that. 
Still trying to get this guy one, though. <laughs> yeah. It's been a process. Like, I, the other day, I went on uh, GameStop because there's a guy I follow on Twitter where I get my news from and say, okay, so they're, um, you know, GameStop's releasing, you know, more consoles for the PS5 starting at, what was it, like 1 o'clock or something like that. And I go on there at 1, nothing. <laughs> I got SOL'd and... And I was like, all right, well, I, I got to wait a little bit longer. I'm still trying. Obviously, for me, I, I get my games digitally, so I'm going to buy the digital version. Um, so I've been trying to find a way to get it, but it's just been so hard. Um, so hopefully we'll do an episode down the line saying we both finally got it. And uh, See, I know as long as I get it on release day, I'm definitely will make a, make a YouTube video out of it. And uh, talk about it on here, of course. But it's yeah, just, we already made a whole episode about it. Yeah, so it's like, just we're been... both we're both going PlayStation. I've always been really PlayStation. Yeah. Other than the 360, I didn't play. I'm backtracking, but I didn't play as much as I did the PS3, even though I think it's better. But um, yeah, so basically, I've always been PlayStation, more or less. I was more like in Xbox. Yeah. Then, obviously, after the PS2, that's when I started the shift towards Xbox. And then, obviously, stuck with it for two two generation consoles. And then I was like, all right, nah, it's time to switch. Because, like, a lot of friends of mine were always on Xbox. And, you know, they were like, you know, I talked to them about what they were going to do. And they're like, all right, we're going to get PS5. And one of the main reasons because of that, I think we've talked about that in, in a previous episode, was the Spider-Man game. Oof. Which, uh, if anyone has not seen, it, it looks unbelievable. There's one slimy thing that I don't like what Sony's doing, and I hope they don't do it for a lot of other games, is so you, for you, if you got the Series S or X, it'd be a good thing because you can play any Xbox game that's ever been, basically ever been made. Right. For the one, 360, and the original, you can play them. Whereas for the PlayStation 5, I think they said basically every PlayStation 4 game you'll be able to play on it, but nothing behind that. Ooh. I think that's such a missed opportunity. So one of the heads of Sony were saying, oh, why would you want to play, you know, this horrible looking game from the PlayStation 2 from... 20 years ago. Why wouldn't you? Why would, like, people would exactly. love to do it's that. Not, Seriously. It's not all about how a game looks. It's how it plays. And there are some fantastic games. Yeah. So I'm hoping in the future they'll adopt it more. But so that's the one good thing that Xbox is doing. That's a... I, I always loved what they did with that. That's the thing. I One of the reasons why I sticked with the Xbox for the longest time was because of the backwards compatibility Especially with COD. I loved playing Black Ops on the 360. And then they incorporated it into the Xbox One. And as I played it, I was like, wow, this it looks really good on this on the con on the one. So I was like, alright, you know, let I'll keep on playing it. And people still play it to this day. And you know, yes, albeit yes, the COD is almost it's ten years old now, but uh it's still amazing. Yep. You know? I mean, probably one of the best CODs ever. I mean, if not the best. Agreed. We did a whole episode on yes, Call of Duty. So we did, so check that out as won't, well. Won't rehash that, but now definitely excited for the PlayStation Five. Hopefully, we'll be able to get you a pre-order, and hopefully, it'll be for release day. <laughs> Some point soon. And I'm um, hoping mine actually goes through with Best Buy. <laughs> Some point soon, we'll be in the clear. So hopefully, just a uh, we'll, hot we'll commodity. Definitely, definitely do an unboxing and review and everything. Yeah. Um been hard to get it but it's been such a process because obviously yeah, oh, one more thing actually with the pre-orders um a lot of people were obviously pissed off at sony saying why did you say you were gonna release the pre-orders tomorrow but then they just drop randomly whereas microsoft said okay tomorrow at this time pre-orders go live and that's exactly what happened right now the thing is when you give a date and time, you get these people that use programs to buy out all the stock for these websites. So within, so anybody that follows like PC stuff, I guess the 
new graphic car graphic car graph oh my god graphics cards from nvidia they um all taken by these people using this bot there were pictures of people getting 15 20 just to go on and resell them hmm. so part that's partly what happened with the x new xbox pre-orders was since they had a date and time so they knew exactly yeah. whereas with the playstation 5 i'm sure some a good amount were from these bots but most of the sales are probably from actual consumers yeah which is a good thing yeah because people man they flooded towards that like it was like obviously obviously it's a new best thing so i would flock towards it like crazy and it was just so hard to even find something because it's just such a hot demand even for example even the, the new even with the current consoles out right now including the switch it's so hard to come by oh yeah like i've said i work in electronics now it's rare to see any consoles yeah and if we do that they, they're sold same day yeah it's crazy it, for you for the switch that was, that was a tough one to that, find. yes it was and we found it Shout out to one of your co-workers for that. For letting us know that they had it. <laughs> yes. And we rushed over there and got it. So it was tough, but it was pa good patient waiting. You know, but yeah, at least they got it now. Yep. All right. So I guess we will go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're on YouTube and listening um, on any of those platforms. Yes, thank you so much. We um, really appreciate it. Yes, we do. 100%. So with that said, we will catch you guys next week. Peace, guys.